What's up, y'all? Welcome back for some more Daredevil. Quick recap, last episode, we saw Matt get the name of Wilson Fisk and his associate's accountant, which is a great, great lead. Foggy's still in the ER, and everyone's worried sick about Matt's whereabouts, and we know Fisk is moving on to the next phase of his plan. We don't know what it is, but we know he's moving on. But let's get into this before we begin. I do want to remind you that you can see my full-length reaction and get early access to these YouTube edits on my Patreon through the link in the description. If not, just make sure you subscribe and leave a thumbs up on this video if you do enjoy it. It really helps my channel reach a wider audience, and I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. It, but now it's time for the show. Let's go. Baraku Skywa Dokonanda. Oh, the Tayashiwa Umitsu Shiku Nanda. Oh, why they gotta show the bone though every time? Every fucking time they gotta show the bone. I even saw the marrow. So Matt's not the only blind person that can whoop ass on this show? Is that what you're telling me? Hey, what do you think, Matt? I think Foggy will be pitching for the Mets by midseason. I'm being serious. Yeah, so am I. Have you seen their bullpen? Damn, the Mets caught a stray. <laughs> you and me, Chelsea Pierce, what do you say? I would, I would. It's just that I, um, I have this uh, thing. Not a problem. Okay. I'm assuming she's going to meet that newspaper guy. I don't know why she wouldn't tell them what she's doing. Like, why is it such a big secret? You can't trust Foggy and Matt? Everyone has secrets, Foggy. Like with Hottie McBurner phone? <clears throat> Didn't work out. Hey, Matt. Her loss, man. Seriously. I like Foggy, man. He's a good partner. And he definitely has a righteous compass. Prick. Oh, man. This is not a good sign. The way that camera panned. Who do you work for? I told you. I, I, I work for Silver. <laughs> He slapped him like a bitch. He didn't even punch him. <laughs> that would have been a great opportunity to pull off his mask and see who he is, but I think that dude was just ready to get the fuck out of there. Yes, more map flashbacks. I love it. We heard about your work with special children and thought maybe you could help. His father left a sizable inheritance. Wait, so this is the dude that trained Matt and everything he knows? This brutal ass killer? That would start to explain a lot of things, actually. So what kind of training is this? You like ice cream? Yeah. This is fucking awesome. I'm loving this right now. So you survive the truck and get this chemical shit in your eyes. I hear things. Coughs and fights. Cats meowing. Wait, did the chemicals have something to do with why his senses are enhanced? I've never heard of that in Daredevil's, like, origin. Smart don't come out of books, kid. Smart is making the right decision at the right time. What's it gonna be, Maddie? Smart doesn't come from books. It's about making the right decision at the right time. I like that quote. I really do. What's it taste like? Vanilla. Use those gifts. Milk from three different dairies from two states. Holy shit, he can tell that the milk came from three different places from two different states. That's fucking incredible. So clearly this is the guy that made him so enhanced. You'll need skills for the war. What war? We'll get to that part when you're ready. I don't even know your name. What do I call you? Stick. Holy shit, there's a war coming? And this man saw it from all the way back then? Paper trail in United LA, it's a bust. Whoever's pulling the strings busted up the one big corporation into a bunch of little ones. Another great skyline shot. You love to see it. What'd you find? Yakuza. Wait, the, the, the Japanese mafia? Triads too. Triads and Yakuza are involved? Oh man, if I was that dude, I'd just back the fuck off. You do not want to mess with them. Oh, well, I was a mean three-point shooter on my high school basketball team. I like the long shot. This isn't a game, Karen. That was a pretty weird time to make a little tongue-in-cheek comment like that. <laughs> I'm Steph Curry from the three. Bitch, we talking about real business here. We're talking about life and death. Cotton feels like sandpaper on my skin. You'd be better off sleeping on real sandpaper than surrounding yourself with all this bullshit. This is my life. His touch senses are enhanced too. Cotton feels like sandpaper. He got to have silk, everything. That's probably going to come into play when he makes his suit. People you care about. Yeah, too. Cut them loose for their sake. I'm not going to do that. Then they will suffer and you will die. Holy shit, this dude does not mince words. That's some real shit, though. Born to lose, battling Jack. At least your daddy got paid when he hit the floor. Oh, shit, that scared the fuck out of me when he grabbed him. He's gone now, but I'm here. Now get up. 
Time to stop taking a beating and start giving one. Yo, I like this dude's sticks. I don't know enough about his character yet, but I fuck with him. <laughs> I love the transition from the similar poses and positions they were in to the current day. Man, the actor that plays young Matt is awesome. The guy that was yapping with that old man you slapped around, he's pretty high up. He goes by a lot of names. He used Nobu this time around. Nobu? What? Nobu? From the hand? One rule, you don't kill anybody. I swear, I will not kill anybody. Okay, his other hand was like behind the couch. I don't know if he had like his fingers crossed or, or what. It's a funny picture of Jesus. He's just sitting here like, like. <laughs> Oh shit, Foggy! <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was expecting Matt to drop in. I can take care of myself. <laughs> oh! Damn, that's gotta hurt an aluminum bat to the side of your head. Somebody wants things quiet. We'll be quieter. You'll remember how to use these. I don't wanna need them. Did he give him nunchucks? This man knew what type of attachments were on each gun and where the guys are standing. They're standing still. Like, how can you tell, man? He has those sticks. I think that's what he has when he becomes Daredevil, like officially. Oh, he was gonna put an arrow through a little child's face? What the hell's the matter with you, sticks? Meditate, learn it, make you way stronger, more focused, even heal your wounds faster. This dude knows how to patch up bruises and cuts from fixing up his dad before he died. Now you're telling me he can meditate and heal even faster? What the hell? Your training is over. I expected too much of you. Seems like he stopped training him because he has a heart and he's showing compassion like- That thing in the container was not a child. I could hear his heartbeat. If you'd have focused beyond your crybaby feelings, you would have sensed what that kid really was. He was just a kid. Sticks, how about you stop being so cryptic and just tell him straight up what the kid is then if he's not a kid? Man, I'm gonna let you kill that kid. Oh, he's already dead. I caught up with the van while you were dicking around with no booze, man. No way. What the hell? Nah, he's lying. He's doing that just to get a rise out of him. He has to. Oh man, it looks like we're getting a student becomes the master moment right here. Oh, he must have broke his back after that shit. Oh, fuck. Meditate that off, bro. Nice catching up. Hey, you can keep the sticks. You're gonna need them. So he got his weapons. Daredevil finally got his weapons. Now he just needs the suit and then we're all good. I don't think that's the last time we're gonna see sticks either. Man in black. You think he's working for the king? No, he, he never would have helped me expose Union Allied if he were. Which one trumps the other? <laughs> I had you a black mask on the Jack of Hearts. This dude kept the bracelet that Matt gave him as a child. Seems like all of this is a front. So it seems like he does have a heart. Did he intentionally leave him when he was a child? Had to happen for him to become what he is now? That was just all part of the training? Black sky, no longer a threat. What about Murdoch? Whoa, who's this dude with all these scars on him? I have no idea. Six is caught up in some bullshit. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Daredevil Season 1, Episode 7. This is the episode I was really waiting for to see how Matt got his skills and who trained him, which was Styx, who we got introduced to in this episode as well. And not only is he named Styx, he gave Daredevil his iconic batons, or sticks, whatever you want to call them, that we know him for. And hopefully this means we're inching closer and closer to him getting an actual suit. I didn't know Daredevil could meditate to heal faster. 
that's probably a power he's always had pretty wild i mean to have a passive ability like that it's usually the mark of a great superhero now foggy is a part of the team with karen and ben to try to bring down united allied constructions corruption and we know that karen knows that foggy loves her because of that conversation she had in the apartment no fisk this episode or his assistant that lack of presence was felt it felt like there was a big hole in this episode not really bad but his character already has such a presence on this show so far it is noticeable i just want to know who sticks was talking to at the end was it the real nobu or someone from the hand i don't know and we know that the hand has to deal with like magic and mystical stuff it's kind of like other world realm stuff so if that stuff can finally get introduced to the show you know that'd be dope it is set in the mcu well not technically the mcu but it's a marvel universe there's superheroes so we need to get some of those otherworldly mystical cosmic powers introduced somehow into this show a lot of the action is taking place almost exclusively at the waterfront from the seven episodes so far at least four or five of them have had like a fight scene or a killing like when fist killed that dude under the bridge the russian brother They're almost all taking place on the waterfront maybe because it's quiet i don't know <laughs> stuff's coming in it does make for a great background because you're always going to get the skyline i haven't really noticed the score i'm sure it's there but i feel like they're intentionally either lowering it or not using it as much because they want us to pinpoint sounds and see what stands out in certain scenes like matt it'll make it easier for us to get into his shoes if we hear how he hears we can't really share the same experiences with his other senses because you know it's a tv show sight and hearing those two we can the actor who played young matt 80 percent of his scenes have had to have like a sad tone or show him in despair or struggling and he's killing it every time and it'd be dope to see him develop too over time not just grown matt even his arc from right now it's leapt forward i'm sure we're gonna get more flashbacks to when his dad was still alive or something with his mother and when he still had his sight i'm enjoying the young matt's arc just as much as i'm enjoying old matt this show is really starting to pick up steam it's making huge leap forwards for daredevil's development i can't wait for the next one if anything in particular stood out to you in this episode or there was something i might have missed please tell me about it in the comments below i hope you enjoyed watching my reaction all i ask is that you leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet you can also catch my full link reaction and get early access to my youtube edits through my patreon and the link in the description you guys are the best we're basically family now i hope you know that that's it for me until next time spread peace and love i'm out